Hey everybody, welcome to Onion Smoke Shack. I'm Onion, and this is a place where we're going to barbecue low and slow, hot and fast, and everything's going to be sweet and meaty. So come on in, make yourself at home. Everybody's welcome here. Let's get to cooking. Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a bacon weave wrapped a beef and sausage um, fatty. And we'll, we'll be stuffing it with um, shallots, garlic, peppers, and uh, I think, and mushrooms. So we'll be uh, getting started on that. So let's get going. All right, so we're going to be making the uh, beef sausage bacon weave wrap fatty here today. Great place. All right, so we got a pound of beef and a pound of sausage. We're just going to start mixing this all together. All right, so we got the beef and sausage all mixed together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to split it in half. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this into plastic bags in there. And this one here. Seal that up. All right, so we got the a pound, one pound of the mixture of beef and sausage. What we want to do here is we're just going to trim the corners of this bag here, just the very tips of it. This will allow air to escape as we roll this out so you need to have a rolling pin of some sort here and we're just going to roll this out here we'll just get that into the corners really well Straighten the bag out there so that it and then you just keep working it until you get it nice and even. And you can flip that over if you want and work the other side. Let me go this way here a little bit and then back. So you got a nice even distribution and it won't be super thick or anything it's just going to be a nice thin layer there all right so then you just take this and we're just going to cut down the corners the edges of it here and this is going to help with Getting the meat out of the paper, out of the plastic bag here. And you want to have some, uh, you want to have some wax paper down to flip this onto. So you just kind of lift it up here. season and stuff this here. Uh, so we're going to start with the seasoning. I am using Big Belly Rub. This is a local um, this is a local sauce of uh, rub here that I just found. It's made by a guy here in Spring Valley. 
and it is freaking awesome. It's a very sweet rub with a little hint of spice at the end. All right, so you leave this top third with no rub on it because you're going to roll onto that. You want it to stick. So we're going to start with some peppers. So I'm just going to lay out peppers here. Now you can use cheese on this if you'd like to. Uh, I have a daughter who's dairy free, so we don't do much dairy stuff in our house right now. Um, but it would be really good with cheese if you wanted to use cheese. And then I'm going to take a little bit of garlic here and just kind of pour that. This is just chopped garlic, fresh. And then a couple of shallots that have been chopped up. And that looks like a lot of stuff in there, doesn't it? All right, so then to roll it, you're going to grab your wax paper I may have over stuffed this one just a tad but that's okay Kind of use your wax paper to roll it here. here. Alright, we have our completed bacon weave and we are going to roll our fatty into the bacon weave here. Everything's falling apart here. That's okay. Alright, so you grab your wax paper here. that's fitting on that perfectly good and then we're going to start wrapping the bacon weave so you use the wax paper bring it over and there you go you got your bacon weaved beef pork fatty there Thing stuffed back in there. Let's see if we can close that up a little bit. And then you just roll this back up and you put that in the fridge. Let it set up a little bit before you barbecue. We made two of the, the uh, fatties today, so we're going to put those on the grill here. All right, so you want to make sure that the seams of the bacon are underneath so it keeps it sealed up. Um, we're going to run this at 250 and put a probe in there. Probe in here. All right, so we've got the probes in, and we're going to set this up here and let this smoke for a couple hours. Um, 
and we'll go from there. All right, so we're about an hour and a half into the cook. And I'm just gonna check these and see what's going on. Oh yeah, those look good. Oh man, that smells good. Man, that smells good. All right, so got about another hour to go and then we'll slather them in barbecue sauce. And then another half hour after that. All right, so we're going to throw a little bit of barbecue sauce on these and let it go for another half hour or so. Man, these smell good. Oh yeah, these are looking good. This is going to be good tonight. We are going to eat well tonight. And tomorrow. Alright, so there we go. A little barbecue sauce on them. And then we're just going to let these go for another half hour or so. And... Go. Maybe about 40 minutes more. All right, so these are done and it is looking good. So we're gonna take these in the house and we will see how they look when we cut them open. Good stuff. All right, so let's check this out, see how it is. It looks inside, oh man. Look at that. That looks delicious. Oh man. Perfect. All right, so today was the uh, start of baseball season. So uh, I made a couple of fatties, did a bacon weave on them. We used one pound of ground beef, one pound of ground sausage. I got the sausage from um, Valley Farms Market, local market here. Um, I used um, Big Belly Rub on this, and it was incredible. That stuff is amazing. Um, <clears throat> I cut up shallots, garlic, peppers, and mushrooms, and used that to stuff the fatty. And, uh, and then put barbecue sauce on it at the end. And uh, how you doing, boy? And um, it came out awesome. It came out really, really good. So uh, uh, please, if uh, you're watching the video, like and subscribe. And um, tell your friends, pass it on, share it. Um, thank you guys so much. Like and subscribe. And I'm going to put a link to Big Belly Rub in the, in the description box. Got a great product. I used the original today. He's got, I think, four different varieties. Um, check them out. The stuff's good. And, uh, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again. Like and subscribe. Keep looking up.